Good morning, Farnsley Wildcats. Welcome to another wonderful week here at Farnsley Middle School. I bring you the uh, morning message for the week of March 27th, 2022. Uh, we always begin our morning, uh, Monday morning message with our motto. Uh, Farnsley's motto is, I am unique. I am pursuing excellence. I am developing. I am a lifelong learner. Together, we are Farnsley. Couple reminders we'd like to share with you all. iPad and Chromebooks, okay? Don't forget iPads fully charged with you every day, all day, and your charger. Don't forget that charger um, because sometimes it'll run low. Chromebooks, oh, uh, before I get into Chromebooks, uh, complete that VIL survey. Get your parents to fill out that VIL survey. There's a big red uh, dot on your, it's an app on your uh, iPad. Make sure they complete that survey. Chromebooks and uh, chargers, they are due by March 28th, which is later this week. They are due by March 28th. If you are one of those uh, students who has one, who was issued one, whether it by uh, Farnsley or another JCPS school, you need to turn that in by the 28th. You have already been given notice, um, so please make sure that and the charger comes in, the Chromebook, okay? Uniforms. Remember, full zip jackets and hoodies have to remain in your locker. Your, your tops. Either crew neck sweatshirt or polo style collared shirts should be not Ralph Lauren. I'm not talking about Ralph Lauren. Should be in the col solid colors of black, white, gold, or gray, or any color blue, okay? Or a quarter zip, solid color quarter zip uh, pullover, okay? We all know, know how to follow those uniform policies. Make sure you do so, teachers. We're asking that at this time, if you look around the room and you see someone out of uniform, get them to fix it at this time. Take their things to their locker. If you tell them not to put it on again, trust me, after this period, guess what they're going to do? Put it on. Um, so have them put it in their locker and remain in their locker. Electronic devices, headphones, and AirPods only to be used for instructional purposes and with the teacher's permission. If your teacher does not give you permission, then keep them off, off and away. They are not to be used in the hallways. Cell phones uh, need to be off and away at all times. Transitions. We need to spruce up our transitions. Now to the end of the year, zero voice level, zero voice level, uh, single foul line, right hand side, no horseplay, and hands to yourself. No horseplay and hands to yourself, okay? Couple shout outs we'd like to give. Ms. Jividen is giving a shout out to Charity W and Trira. Uh, best behavior and working uh, in, in completing work. Brody S, great help with electronics. Victoria B and Kane R, uh, hardworking. And Gavin D, following directions. Thank you so much. Ms. Jones and Ms. Fallon. Uh, would like to give a shout out to Lakari C and Marae T for getting some good reports from teachers. That's uh, what we like to hear. Keep up the good work. Also, shout out to the rest of the Dream Team for getting your points in. We appreciate your hard work and doing what's right. Miss Collins is giving a shout out to Kate M and Leo W, Navea R and Kaylee G for turning in their work. Uh, Nico W for preparing lessons for social studies class. Emily B, Jade P. Taylor C. and J.R.W. and Michael W. for power washing all the Chromebooks in the building. Also, Jalen B. For, get, for great help in class and congratulations and huge jump in math scores. Thanks to Aiden A. for your help in class. Miss Lisby is giving a shout out to Anthony J. and Caleb B. who went up in, in math and reading math scores. Jada went up in reading math scores uh, as well. Congratulations on that. <clears throat> uh, Miss JB is giving a shout out to Lakari C uh, for advocating for needs of classmate who wasn't comfortable asking for help. I'm giving a shout out to the Explorer team. There are very few uh, students that are uh, taking field trips, teams that are taking field trips. Um, it is now being lifted to allow you to do so. Um, and I want to give a shout out to the Explorer team who went to the JA field trip and did an amazing job. We have gotten a lot of feedback and all positive. A couple iPad updates. Remember, if you're changing classes uh, to what you need to do to make sure your settings are right, any updates, you should be currently on system 15.3.1 and privacy address. Uh, make sure that is, turn, is not turned on. These are a couple tips. Take a look at these announcements and make sure you follow those. Um, continuing this week and next and the week after spring break. We have MAC testing continues the rest of this week. 
Um, there is no school this Friday. Uh, but Hoops for Heart is going on this this Thursday coming up, okay? This Thursday coming up. Uh, in two weeks, which is the week after train break, we have a book fair coming up, and we are back to business as usual. So keep uh, be mindful of all that's going on and all that you have prepared for, and do your very best on your map test. I want to remind you all for Hoops for Heart, Thursday, March 31st. So basketball kickoff in the gym, donations of $5. Uh, Coach Nur is taking donations up until Wednesday. And don't forget the behavior agreement. No more than one time in ISAP and no suspensions uh, between March 10th and, and the 31st for you to be able to join in. Also, shoe drive is still going on with Miss Mayhew. Miss Mayhew has a shoe drive, and um, that uh, homeroom that gathers the most shoes has a party coming. Um, has a party coming sponsored by the Youth Service Center. Shoe drive is going on until Wednesday. Uh, that's a that slide doesn't need to be there. Okay, that won't either. Farnsley's Talent Show, April 21st, 6 to 7.30 here at Farnsley. Pick up your form in the Youth Service Center. More info to come. More info to come. Make sure you pick up your Talent Show form in the Youth Service Center. Uh, uh, rounding out Women's History Month, I'd like to highlight Maria Elena Salinas. Um, born in 1954, she was heralded as the voice of Hispanic America by the New York Times. Maria Elena Salinas is the first Latina to receive a Lifetime Achievement Emmy. She's the longest-running female network anchor in the U.S. and had two seasons of her investigative series, The Real Story. Upon leaving the Uni Univision in December 2017, after a 36-year run at the network, the journalist said, I am grateful for having had the privilege to inform and empower the Latino uh, community through the work my colleagues and I do with such passion. Learn more about Maria Elena. That is all the announcements I have for you today. Uh, remember the difference in a good day and a bad day is your attitude. So let's make it a great one. Take care.